it's going uh, 909. We're back with some oblivion. It's uh, getting pretty late in the night, but I figured I ought to record something, something for the channel. I think we're on episode 6 now. But it's been a while, and I kind of wanted to play some games, so I'm just going to get right back into it. Yeah, so we got to find this place called Zedillion, and I remember having no clue how to get there. Because, here... I have the current quest selected, and that's sort of the, the map marker. That's uh, that's where Shield Gorath is, that's where I picked up the quest. So, I have to find it. I'm thinking it's probably at the Isle of Flame. It's more near the center of the map. I'm going to check out the Isle of Flame. Let's check out this, uh, this island here, though. I was about to say, dude, those shots were flawless. Like, bro, those shots were flawless. And what do you know, I pick up a flawless pearl. It's pretty crazy. Um, apparently it's the goblin... The goblin island. Let me just close the blue in real quick, cause the um the jigs up or whatever they say. The gig, the gigs up. Is that what they? I, okay, I just moved the webcam a little bit. Anyways, yeah, we're not playing Oblivion. It's um it's worn off on me, to be quite frank. It's uh it's too tedious of a game. It's actually just too uh, difficult in the brain compartment. Could not find that Zedillion place for the life of me. Anyways, I'm just going to be playing some Office because it's a slow map. There's a lot of waiting, so I figured I'd have enough room to like, kind of give you guys an update about what's going on over at the 909 because a lot of stuff has been going on. Lots of drama. It's been about a month since the last upload. Wade Carfix. Seems like our team is pretty docile right now, so it's probably a good thing. So yeah, Wade Carfix came out and I watched the video a day later. And this is this this is where it all started. Yeah. Oh shit. Let purple ones happen. Sweet. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's play out this round real quick. I'm 1 HP right there. I thought that was a good play, but I probably should have just been baiting my teammate. Anyways. Wade Carfix came out a day later. I watched the video. I see the joke about Jeremy asking Cameron if they should kill me. And I, you know, I confronted him a day later about it. And it got pretty heated. We got in a, got in a pretty big argument. Near the end of the argument, I ended up throwing like a water bottle at him. 
Um, and it was so heated, I just missed by like three feet. And it ended up just like hitting the wall, ricocheting, and landing straight up. And that was kind of the end of the argument. Because it was like a... It was like a bro flawless moment, you know. Um, and I thought that was nice. it. Just wipe the smoke out. The okay. next day... Or not, not the next day, the day after. I thought everything was just, you know, chill between me and Jeremy. I wake up, it's at like 5.30 in the morning, I do my thing, turn on the lights. I see right next to the green couch, there's a bear trap. I somehow nearly missed it in my daily routine. I guess I get off the, the couch in a weird way. Um... So this is this is kind of the problem with office, is that the teas just smoke off every choke point, kind of just um, bog down the time. Yeah. Anyways, I try to go talk to Jeremy about it. He was. Tell him if you know, like, what's up with the bear trap right next to the couch, and what do you know? He's gone. Uh, like... Oh. Right oh. Anyways. Uh, yeah, Jeremy's gone. Can't find him. I text him, I call him, he doesn't respond. And at this point, I'm kind of just assuming that the bear trap is his, and... You know, he's just trying to bear trap me. Um... To a good start here, main advantage. One there, there. Let's get the trade. That's what you like to see in your, your T players. There's a little bit of aggression, though. Their main problem, and I'll, I'll show you when we switch to T side, is that you, you gotta use some smokes to kind of cover all your angles. Anyways, just gotta wait out these smokes. They're gonna re-smoke it. Typical. Probably back up here. Then they're throwing nade. I'm sure y'all have noticed I'm not playing in the living room. Um, after Jeremy kind of disappeared, you know, like 24 hours passed, I kind of just decided to start moving all my stuff into a room, his room. And, um, it's been like that for a month, and it's been pretty sweet so having my own room. I, I still miss the couch. Jeremy's gone. Clean. Zane's also gone. He moved to New York City. Uh, I, I think indefinitely. Not sure how that's gonna work out, but you know, I believe in him. He's uh, he's kind of a country rock star right now, and he's taking it all the way. I figure New York City's the best place for him right now. I'm just gonna have to save one more time. We're, we're on an equal loss bonus, but if we're tied right now. That's pretty good for CT. And it's not to say that this map is necessarily T sided. I think T side is a lot easier than CT, but. What? Two teams that know what they're doing could go either way. More. Just as like a, a side note, because yeah, I almost just cursed. I, I just felt the urge. Oh, I heard those footsteps. I could, could have peeked us here. But I've been trying not to curse or use the Lord's name in vain. God! Oh, fuck. No! Give me that sh I mean... Four seconds? So... Yeah. Just me and Trooper. I've sort of... 
since Jeremy's gone, taking the reins of the 909, kind of not really sure what to do, but it doesn't seem like Trooper wants any responsibility for the channel. He's kind of doing his own thing right now. I don't know. It's it's just it's really difficult writing ideas for videos, especially with just me and Trooper. And he was there. <sighs> Clear these off angles. Clear the couch angle? Nope. He's gotta be close. No. He ran back. Get ready for this wide swing. Okay. I'm kind of at a, uh. Oh shit. What, like a. I can't, I can't come up with a word, but we're at a standstill at the 909. I, I, I'm trying to write some ideas down, and it's looking pretty hopeful. I think I'm gonna do like a, a Wade 21st uh, birthday type video. Um, group chats blowing up, thinking we should do like um, like a like a porn skit between me and Trooper. Not, we're not actually. It's gonna be like a joke. I actually don't know how I feel about that, but that's uh, in consideration. Elden Ring, I think, is pretty much finished. Intruder don't really want to play Elden Ring. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I haven't talked to him about it. I kind of just assume that it's over. Oblivion, man. I mean, I mentioned it earlier, but that game, it just takes so much time to beat, and I want to, I just instinctively want to do every side quest, and I instinctively want to make a shit ton of money in that game, <sighs> man, what else, what else to update y'all on, I hit, uh, 135 on my squat, playing this early into the round and you're in back way, you kind of just need to be playing back. Yeah. The round hasn't started yet, essentially. But Spleen, look, he's already at 56. Oh, but he gets a kill. We're just gonna bet that they don't have any more smokes. Oh, the double molly. Synchronous. Hey, after this, Molly, I'm gonna flash into paper. It's kind of a shitty flash. I mean, a bad flash. Let me go back through paper real quick. Just hold it. He's gonna... Oh my god. So, we're starting off T-side pistol, kind of a bad spawn. We're gonna play pretty safe here. Since the hostage is in conference, just playing paper, it's not a bad move. You can always just keep falling back. Let's make sure Schmeth doesn't die though. Yep, it's probably a good off angle. Um, actually, I don't know. I think this is the angle right here. Good 
stuff. Um, I, I think that's that's about it for channel updates. Oh, you know what? Um, wait, sorry. I'm Oh my god, I have the dualies. Why am I buying an AK then? Hoping we get a good spawn here. Ah, the worst spawn possible. Yeah, I actually don't know how to play this. Oh, you know what? Gonna late peek this. Spleen is cleaning, cleaning up the, um. Anyways, back to the channel updates. Dagon's gone. Oh, he's not gone, but I took over the 909 and I decided to just uh, not exactly fire him from the editing position, but he's not getting paid. I kind of just laid him off, you know. We kind of also you know, had a little bit of a fight. Sorry I, if I'm like, like slurring my words. So. Um, I'm kind of uh, coming off of sickness right now, and I should. I took like three day call for this match. Going for the big flank, and it pays off. Um, yeah. So basically, I had to lay off Dagon because it's just around too much with the edits, you know. Just like 3D tracking penis. Fuck. I think we're gonna get out of this one. Doesn't even matter, we're gonna win it. 